Welcome to Soul Horoscope's Astro Weather. My name is Christopher Watecki, your stand-up astrologer. Well, we're now to Monday, June 16, 2008. The sun's progressed to 25 degrees Gemini, and the moon is in the opposite sign, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at those planets. Well, there's a couple of big global things that really get my interest as we kick off the week. On the one hand, we have an opposition, folks. That is between the sun in Gemini and now Pluto, which has retrograded back into Sagittarius. Now, I spoke to this on Friday. For the next six months, we will all be tested on that Pluto-Sagittarius issue. And for the next 10 days, we'll be kind of tug-of-warring between the sun down in Gemini and its final steps and Pluto down in Sagittarius, daring us to slip back where we already know we should not be slipping back. So in each of 12 SGs, I'll be outlining that opposition and speaking to this. A trine today, which is between the sun and Neptune, which, by the way, is 120 degrees. Thanks, someone, for pointing that out. My mouth gets stupid sometimes in a retrograde. Each 12 signs, I'll be talking about how you can actually use the intuition of Neptune to benefit the test and opposition of Sun Pluto. But before you click on your horoscope for all that juicy detail, take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters, and let's begin with our windy signs. Gemini, sunny and sentimental, taking the final steps in the new them. The Librans, sunny and pensive, it's time to make the final steps on a new constitution. And the Aquas are sunny and social, putting the final cherry on their creative or romantic cake. Moving on now to our fireballs. Aries, overcast but pensive, but they've got a new attitude around the corner. The Leos, sunny and childlike, new role in society is, I think, what they're focused on. And the Sagittarius are sunny and cool, looking at marriages in a whole new way. At least we hope. Moving on now to the dirt signs. Taurus, overcast with a chance of vulnerability, but it's about building soul capital. The Virgos, sunny nesting and resting, they have a new legacy coming up. And the Capricorns are overcast and pensive, feeling a new lifestyle, one that supports inner faith. Lastly, our water signs. Cancer, cloudy and hyper aware, they've got a new faith on the horizon as well. The Scorpio is sunny and productive, trusting or creating new trust laws. And the Pisces are sunny and happy, taking the final steps to their proper potting soil which is home, family, and foundation if you're not up on the SG Talk. All right, that's all I have for money and the Astro Weather. Be sure to click on your own horoscope for the details of the opposition and how Neptune can help you. And we're out there under the beautiful rays of Moon and Sagittarius. I'll be in this studio covering your Astro.